these tiny shackles remind us that even the very smallest children who were enslaved could be chained. And I assume these shackles are meant to hold children who are about to be sold. It's remarkable. It almost leaves one speechless. And I wonder whether or not um, it really is to shackle the children to make sure that they don't run away, uh, whether or not it is a reminder to the mother or to the parents that, you know, we own this child, and if you run or try to escape, we have them and we own them. Mm. So could have been used for both purposes. For both purposes, both. I think, for, yeah, to, to make sure that the mother did not try to escape. And if you look closely at them, it looks as though the shackles, they look as though they're meant for a three-year-old, a four-year-old, a small toddler, and that they could be used either to hold two wrists of one child or two tiny children mm -hmm. next to each other. Um, it is also her reminder, perhaps, that um, merchants and masters were fearful that even the small child, even the, the tiniest child, uh, could be a runaway. Um, it, it reminds us that black people of all ages resisted and um, uh, were not easily kept enslaved. Right, and that children, in fact, might have been tempted to disappear because they could see the way their parents, the way their parents, siblings yeah. were being treated. Mm -hmm.